5G has been so important to get to the West Midlands early on because of the huge potential that it has to create economic and social growth. If you step back, it's amazing to think about how the combination of 4G, smartphones and apps has revolutionized the way that most of us live and work. If you think about simple things in your life, like perhaps checking your bank balance or making payments or hailing a, hailing a taxi through uh, services like Uber, taking photographs, catching up on social media, doing, doing emails and thousands of other applications, it's hard to deny that for most of us, smartphones and 4G have transformed our lives and the way that we work. Looking ahead, 5G is poised to do the same, but not only in similar areas to 4G, because it's obviously 10 to 100 times faster, but also in lots of business and governmental and public services areas where the features of 5G and enabling 20 times more sensors, uh, more internet of things devices to be, protect, uh, to be uh, connected, and also the opportunity to do this thing called low latency, which is all about controlling the speed at which uh, uh, data reaches devices, has huge potential in industrial contexts as well as business to consumer and government to consumer contexts. And when you look at the economy in the West Midlands, we've got amazing strengths as, for example, the heartland of the UK's Industrial Revolution, with uh, still a substantial amount of our economic growth and activity coming from sectors like manufacturing, where 5G has huge potential to transform that sector as part of Industry 4.0. Uh, sectors like transport, sectors like healthcare, creative industries, and, and, and many others. So we wanted to take the opportunity to adopt a leadership position in 5G because of what it can do uh, in terms of creating those economic and social benefits in the West Midlands and beyond in the next decade. So our role in working with operators and others to bring 5G to the West Midlands has been one of a convener and also one of an accelerator. On the network side, accelerating the rollout of 5G, the role we've played is really to work in partnership with the operator community and also in partnership with the local authority community to put in place the training, to put in place the legal contracts and support, to, um, to build a massive digital connectivity map of the region so we can see where the problem areas are and basically to make it loads uh, cheaper, faster uh, and easier for operators to upgrade 4G sites to 4G and 5G or to acquire and install new sites in line with the code. So first and foremost we played that role of being the trusted advisor in the middle creating the conditions to make that whole process simpler, faster and better. In addition to that, on the network side, we have commissioned um, commercial trials of uh, small cell deployments in each of our three cities, and we've worked in close partnership with industry and also with the public sector and the local authorities to define what the standards are, what the commercial models are, and basically what needs to be in place so they can be deployed at scale. In terms of innovation, then, secondly, we've also uh, played a convening role in this case, we've been bringing together the demand side of the market, so the organisations like the healthcare trusts, uh, the local authorities, uh, the transport operators, the people on the demand side of the sectors who want innovation powered by 5G, and then on the other side, the technology companies, the 5G uh, network operators, uh, the application providers, the data companies, the SIs, etc., to bring them to the table to run a series of trials and tests to prove the opportunity for 5G uh, powered products and services to deliver really transformative results in health, manufacturing and transport and, and also to encourage startups to work on specific challenges relating to other sectors as well as those three uh, through our accelerators.